Devin Green. And I'm Mrs. Kasha Davis. Welcome to Tales, Tales of, of the, the City. City. Pets for pets. This is where pets help other, other pets. pets. And if you decide you want to get merch from Pets for Pets, you can go to dragqueenmerch.com and 100% of the proceeds go to the ASPCA. Look at all the good we do. Bonjour, it's Aquaria, your reigning queen from RuPaul's Drag Race season 10, and I am so excited to meet and greet you all at RuPaul's DragCon Los Angeles on May 24th, 25th, and 26th. Make sure you get your tickets at RuPaul'sDragCon.com, and I will see you at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Mwah! Welcome to Pets for Pets with Mrs. Kasha Davis and Devin Green and Angina's friends. This is not Angina, but cat dogs. Two dogs. This is Iggy. Good morning. Who do we have here, Angina? So over here is Little Monster. He's a brat, so he's named appropriately. And over here is Iggy. Somewhere behind me and under me, <laughs> there's a cat named Athena. And then I also want to introduce you guys to my little guinea pig named Hamlin. <laughs> We're going to meet everybody. And uh -oh. what breed is this little one? He's a Pomeranian. Yeah. He can also say, uh, he can also do speak, I think. Monster, speak. No, he won't do it. No. Monster, speak. But Iggy is actually the lovable one. He's a cuddly, big, little, tiny teddy bear. Lap dog. <laughs> yeah, he's they... a lap. He thinks he's a lap dog. We felt that Monster needed a companion, oh. and we adopted Iggy from Wags and Walks. Oh, and this is a Dalmatian. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got the coat of a Dalmatian, but um, the vet has told us that he is a mix from an American Bulldog pit or American Bulldog boxer. We don't really know, but he does have a strong American Bulldog um, 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 face. I'm actually really excited that he's very much into this bone right now because otherwise he'd be chasing his tail, right. running around in circles, and then when he gets it, there's just like blood. Oh, that's got to be good for the upholstery. This is Athena. We think that she's like a Maine Coon mix. Oh. Um, she is the sweetest thing. She just doesn't like you to rub her belly fat or else she'll bite you. Perfect. Oh, we brought a gift. Does he like to wear clothing, like a little buff? Yeah, actually he does. Well, there you go. That's there you go. Of Kasha oh, and thank you. Iggy, come here. We made it Sit. this morning. Sit. This is for you. Oh, oh look boy. at that. Oh, I know. you're gonna look so handsome in green. Michelle's favorite color. Right? Iggy, do you hate it? Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Lay down. Lay down. No. <laughs> One out of two. He, want, bad. That's he right. wants you to give him kisses. I'm always a little nervous of people who have a mouth bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Hamlin. He's named after Hamlin, Hamlin and McGill, which is um, the law firm on the show Better Call Saul. Everybody's so sweet. They I've are. I've never seen a guinea pig up close. I th really? No. You want to? You want to pet him? You might get yeah. giggled. I don't. I, I Just don't, don't go like underway, like okay. overways. Ow! Sorry. I'd he suggest <laughs> not. To, not today. Today's not the day. Now, no. Anjana, I did hear you say that on the way in that you might have some local parrots that like to stop by. <gasps> yes. So um, when I moved to this house, there was like this crazy parrot noises that I heard in the back, and I was like, oh, it's probably like a loose parrot, one or two. Mm -hmm. Well, there's about two dozen of them, oh, and they hang out in my backyard. They they caw and. Is it caw? Like, oh, caw. <laughs> caw, caw. Oh, caw, caw. Well, let's go to the back and let's look for some birds. All right. But they're not coming right here. They're flying. Iggy, you're crazy. Come here, Iggy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. Let me just get a little out of here. <laughs> oh no, your scarf came off, Iggy. I really want them to do speak for you, but Monster might do it. Monster, speak. Speak. As always, no. Monster. none of the pets were coerced today. <laughs> no. They get to do whatever they want. They run the roost, they run the barnyard, they run the world. <laughs> I'm lip syncing. Look at this. And now it's time for 
Happy Tales! We've had friends from all around the world submitting their loved ones. So let's have a look together, shall we? And now we have Kimberly with her rescue kitties. She rescued the kitties, but one of the kitties actually rescued her. Called 911. Fact. Kesha! It's what do you do? It's so cute! It's adorable! I want to you can put it in your pocket! <laughs> She's trying to hold all of it at once. Ow! I love him! Is it real? I think it is you. I think that the dog could fit right here in the crevice of my breasticles. So could I. Kasha, I like Turner and Hooch, but the we've got... Pugs and, and Peaches. They're quite a duo. Oh, I love a little puggy. I like a hut bear, just like these two. Oh. Our good friend Richie with oh. his best friend, Sheldon. Sheldon. And he's all rolling around on the floor and ready for belly rubs. Getting on his back. And I'm talking about Richie. Oh. Oh. Hey, Devin. It's Mrs. Scotch Davis. And Mr. Davis. And our boy, Max. We adopted Max now... Three years ago. Three years. 2015. And he was... He came to us as a rescue and he was pretty sick when he got here. He was... 20 pounds thinner and he had no hair on his elbows or his, well, his tail was pretty thin. Yeah, and ironically, it, Max came into our life uh, exactly when I needed him. I was home, uh, you know, a lot, uh, touring sometimes, but sobering up and Max is my soul pup. He just absolutely coaches me day in, day out, and I feel like he knows when I kind of get into a mood and, you know, They'll be like, let's play, let's go for a walk. Currently, let's snuggle on the sofa. But it's... He knows when you're on your phone too much. Yeah. He'll fling it out of my hand and get off, get off Instagram. But it's incredible. I never felt this close to an animal. And I feel like, you know, he came into my life exactly when I needed him. Um, certainly, you know, I have a lovely husband as well. But Max is our son. And we had a another dog in the past, uh, Homer, who uh, we had to put down. He was yeah, old. 2014, he um, had a heart murmur, and uh, he just couldn't take it anymore, so he, we had to put him down. And um, It was really lonely around here when without a dog. Yeah, and so we were just trying to figure out, you know, what the next step was. And for us, that means, you know, it's adoption. Going to our, uh, you know, shelter and seeing what we can do and, and a couple people heard that we were looking and they said that they had a husky that was looking for adopt to be adopted and his sister was also part of the deal and uh, fortunately your ex-wife also she took her yep she yeah. had it at home and um, she was looking for a new dog as well so now they still get to see each other they get to see each other and they play we're one big happy family so from our home to yours lots of love and snuggles. Hope you have a, a wonderful night. Mwah. I can't wait to see him. Max! Hello? Hello? Hello! Oh, Max! Hi! Max? Hi! Hi. <laughs> oh, kisses, kisses. Hi! Hi! Sweethearts, my heart and soul. This is family. All pets are family. All pets are family. Hi guys, it's me, Mrs. Kasha Davis. Well, hello. I'm Devin Green here with... Jim Colucci, and this is my Boston Terrier, Gabby. Now, where did you get this little sweetheart from? Gabby, it's such an amazing thing that she came into our life just when we needed her because we had had a Boston Terrier for 15 and a half years, Herman. And Herman? We got Herman, yes, and in that exact voice because he's named for Herman Munster. <laughs> right. And we, Frank and I got Herman the moment we met, actually. Frank had already arranged to get Herman when I met him and poof, instant family, like the same week. And when Herman passed away, we were, of course, it was so, you know, I'm sure people who've lost a dog know this. 
it was so sad. I, we didn't even want to go home. We would That's be at Sirius XM right. and in the office, and we'd find we'd find ourselves making excuses not yeah. to go back to the apartment. Hey, like, hey, want to go see a movie? Right. Hey, you want to go to dinner? Because when you went home, it felt so empty. And a, a couple who listened to the show were at the time we didn't know dealing with Gabby because they had lost their Boston Terrier, and they had heard through Facebook of an older woman who needed hip surgery and could no longer care for Gabby, and. She had had her for three years, and Boston Terriers aren't a great uh, dog for old people because they are so excitable. More importantly, what's her safe word? Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. It's more like her unsafe word that gets her right? going. I know, I know. That is the best. My wow. safe word is cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> We got her, it was in January of, of uh, 2012. Squirrel! <laughs> and she's she's 10 years old now? She will be 10 in August. Now, Jim, does Gabby do anything special for a treat or for some food? Gabby will do anything for a treat. You want to try? Uh, okay. Okay, so hold that up and just ask her to shake hands with you. Okay, Gabby, shake. Uh, put, oh. put out one of your hands to shake uh, it. Shake. Uh, oh. Or, <laughs> or start sneezing uh, and drool. Uh, <laughs> maybe. We won't film that part. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a little tired. Should we all get under the covers and go to sleep? I think we should just, you okay. know, okay. have a nice ride. Yeah. Gabs, you want to join us? Come on, Gabby. Come on, Gabs. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on up. Squirrel. Aw. You're so dumb. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, we loved having you here for Pets for Pets. I'm Devin Green. I'm Mrs. Kasha Davis. And we can guarantee you this, no one's gonna ever love you as much as that we do. Or they. Or them. Us. We. Ever. How.